and welcome back to another Monday Movie Hunting, the best way to start your week. Did a little um, I get started off speaking and went into sound. I'm outside because it's like an autumn -y fall day. Obviously, cars allowed them. Autumn -y fall day um, where you can like wear a hat and a scarf and be cozy, but also you kind of, it's not too cold. Um, so I like it, it's nice. Um, but yeah, so Jurassic World comes out today and I'm super excited. I've seen it before, but I'm really looking forward to seeing it again. So let's go ahead and go to Sainsbury's and have a look at it and see what else they've got. And lots of, I think everybody guessed right. So we'll get to that at the end, but I have exciting stuff to say at the end too. But for now, let's go. Somebody stocking the shelves it might be problematic. Jurassic World. Okay, guys, here is the Jurassic World Blu ray, which is £15, and it has a slipcover, which is good because a lot of Blu rays at the moment haven't been having them. Um, and you can briefly see the special features there, but um, definitely look that up because I talk about it all a bit more later on. Because here's the 3D Blu ray for £18, which is just the single 3D and not the 2D. Uh, we have Insidious 3 from last week and I was kind of looking around if there's any other new ones from this week in the Blu-ray section. Couldn't really see any but there's the Jurassic Park collection. The four movies for £25 and then we found Cooties! Which is fun because this came out last week and I didn't see it so I thought I'd take a little quick look at that and that was like a fun movie. Let me know if you've seen that one. It's £8 there. Um, and this is the Lazarus Effect which also came out today and that was £8. Um, so I took you know a little quick look at this one. Let me know if you've seen it or know anything about it. Also Knock Knock came out today with Keanu Reeves. I don't really know much about this one either, but I took a little look at it. Um, so, you know, again, if you know anything about that one, let me know. Um, Cop Car also also came out today, I'm pretty sure, with um, Kevin Bacon. Again, I don't know, know, know too much about this one, but if you do, uh, let me know your thoughts on it. If you've seen it, what you think, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, so that is that one. And then, again, there's the Jurassic Park stuff for the DVD. This is the TV section now. Grimm, season 4 was £18. I really enjoyed the first season of Grimm, so I thought it was really exciting that the um, new seasons come out. Let me know where you guys are up to with this, if you watched it. If you haven't watched it, I definitely recommend it. I mean, I've only seen the first season, but uh, I really did enjoy it, so I do recommend that. And then also Hannibal, season 3. And look, the case was, like, open, and I was like, ah, so I couldn't pick that one up. Had to pick up the next, this one. I had some problems. But here it is, Hannibal Season 3. I've not watched Hannibal yet, I do really want to. Um, it's a show that I want to get around to watching. I know lots of people have watched it, so that's exciting. That's £20. And Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., £25, Season 2. I really, really, really need to watch this show. I will pick up Season 1 really soon and watch it, because I really, really want to get into this, especially now Season 2's come out and all that good stuff. Um, you know, I just think it looks like great fun. Plus, look, there's the Clangers. And also, I just took a little quick look at the Munsters, because, you know, it's Halloween time, and I thought this was cute. Um, it's a complete collection, and look at all those, so that was fun. Okay guys, so we are back from the Sainsbury's, and then I was just inside, and I just filmed a short little clip, which I will put in here. Okay guys, I've just got home, and I've looked at my Jurassic World, and I thought, oh, I'm going to take a look at what special features it's got. And I looked on the back, and I was like, huh, I can't see them. Then I looked back on my video to see me show the, you know, the normal Blu-ray, and then I've realised, look, it's only the 3D Blu-ray. So it was £18 for just the movie in 3D, no special features, no normal Blu-ray. I don't know, I don't know what to do. I think that is such a such a shame and such a rip-off for the 3D because usually you get the 3D, you get the special features, you get everything in this pack. This is what this one is kind of for. And I watch, to be honest, I watch them in 3D maybe once. Then I watch, especially with movies I want to watch a lot, which will be this one. And then I watch them a bunch of times in 2D. So I'm really, really disappointed that I will have to buy the 2D one at some point, I know. So I don't really know. I think that's such a disappointment on this one. Yes, so I realise that Jurassic World is only 3D. Not 3D and 2D, it does say at the top. Um, but yeah, there was a person, as you could see, stacking the shelves. And so I was trying to be really speedy. They like popped off when I was there. They weren't there, you saw that. And then I tried to film, you know, the bits and bobs. And then they came back and they were speaking to somebody. I think they were looking for something for somebody. And then they went again. So I was like, oh my gosh. Um, so I was, you know, trying to film all this stuff whilst they weren't there in the way doing the shelves. And so I guess I was trying to film and be quick and didn't pay, pay much attention really to what was going on, I guess. Um, so you know it's probably my own fault and even even if I would have noticed it in the shop and you know want to I don't know what I would have done I guess I would have done the same thing I would have probably picked up the 3D one I did do an unboxing of the um, 3D Jurassic World already I've been inside and filmed the unboxing and talked about that already I decided to come back outside because like I say it's nice out here today so yeah that's good um, 
but yeah, so I've already filmed an unboxing, and you know, I am disappointed, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of over it now, and I've, I've also since learned that HMV have got a, a edition, a steelbook edition with 2D, 3D, and special features. Um, so you know, if I would looked into it more, I would know, but I actually have not got any. 3D Blu-rays that do not include the, the 2D at all, um, and I have about 40 3D Blu-rays. Um, I, have, I have quite a lot. I have a lot of I have uh, quite a lot of 3D Blu-rays, and I've never ever ever come across that. So it honestly, just didn't even enter my mind. Uh, I hope that it doesn't become like more of a thing. I think it's so much better when they have the 2D and the 3D. But anyway, enough about the bad of Jurassic World. Um, but it is a shame. I feel like my hat has fallen off. What is going on here? Um, Anyway, it doesn't matter really. Um, it is a shame, but you know, that's just what it is. But let's let's leave the bad behind. I'm still excited to see Jurassic World. I haven't seen it in 3D and I have seen it in 2D, so really it was 3D. 3D was the choice to go with. Um and yeah, so now let's just go for the guesses actually, and then I'll talk to you guys in a minute and tell you about next week. Um, but yeah, let's head over to Who Guessed Correctly, because there was a lot of people and lots of you guys did a great job. So yay for that. Now let's head over to the guesses. Okay, so here we go. Basically, I've actually just hidden the um, other columns. And uh, Amanda was telling me how you can freeze the first column, but for some reason, I just I just couldn't figure that one out. But I did then, from that, figure out I can hide them, so this is good. So anyway, um, we have Laura, and so a lot of people, as you can see, have six. Daniel, McDermott, Rory McQuill and Jenkins, Harvey Morton, Amanda, Daniel Lehman, um, Simon Wayne, Reese. Waylon, did I just say? Some... I feel like I just said somebody. Anyway, sorry. Simon Wayne, Reese Waylon, Wicked Obsessor. I thought I had um, Reese down twice then. Who knows what I'm saying? Uh, Ashley Alcano. I'm. I'm sorry. If that's wrong. Paige Smith, Movies and Games, 007 UK. And then we'll scroll down. Spoon them up. And I hope you are feeling better. I know in your comment you said you've been ill. I hope you're better now. Um, Charlie Burnside. Patrick Walsh. David Animal Warrior. The Random Gamer. Alexandra Pollock. EVOX Warriors. Heezy Gollum Clay. Tabitha's Toy Place. And then we have some new guesses down here. Best Buds. Kevin Haig. Daniel Walton. And Joshua Kenway. We have a lot of Daniels, don't we, on this little list. So now we've kind of got 53 people on this little guessing list. But yeah, if you want to guess for next week, here's the kind of um, news on that. Back to the other me. Okay, so well done if you guessed correctly. That was awesome. Now next week is going to be a tricky one. Okay, so next week I'm going to be picking up, well, for you guys to guess, down in the comments below you can guess three movies that I'm going to be picking up three movies and so it's lots of fun but I will actually hopefully fingers crossed be trying to pick up four things now however the fourth thing um I don't know whether it'll be there I don't know if I have to get online and I don't know how many people will be able to guess it so I was like you know what three is plenty enough to guess um and it's just going to get really confusing I feel like if there's four so to guess these three things the fourth one I will tell you um the fourth thing that I will be picking up so obviously don't guess this one because I've told you guys this this would be that would be a waste of a guess don't guess this I will be picking up Vincent van Gogh um paint oh my gosh what's it called Paint. I've forgotten the actual name of the um, thing. It's Benedict Cumberbatch. Painted. Paint. I've forgotten it. I couldn't tell you it right now, even if I tried my best. Paint. I don't know. Anyway, basically, it's. Uh, I don't know much about it. I literally know about Zilch. But my favourite painting ever in the world is Starry Night um, by Vincent van Gogh. And Benedict Cumberbatch, I think, is fantastic. So I am really intrigued and excited to see what he's going to do playing him so I think that's fantastic and I just want to watch it just for that uh, I don't know too much about it I don't want to know too much about it but I do want to see it and I'm really interested to see that so some of that I do really want to pick up it comes out next week and um, so if I can find it there I will pick it up there if I can't I will order it online um, and yes that's something I'm really excited about um, and then there's three other movies that I'm picking up that week so if you want to guess the other three then go ahead and comment down below guess the three and then you know so don't worry about the fourth one like I say I've told you guys that I think it could be there in like the TV section. I think it was like a ITV or BBC thing. Um, 
but I don't know but if you guys have seen that or remember the actual title of it I'd love to know your thoughts on it um yeah and if you guys have seen Jurassic World in 3D on the 3D blu-ray um here it is I'd love to know your thoughts if you've seen the Lazarus uh, was it the Lazarus effect or the Lazarus there's two movies to do with the Lazarus one has been out a while one came out today also I noticed cooties in the shop today I looked for the final girls couldn't find it Grim season four came out which is cool because I've watched season one I haven't watched two or three yet but I've really enjoyed season one um and also Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. that was it Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. season two I've not watched the first season yet you guys know how it is with me in tv shows but that's exciting and yes the tv shows we've had a lot of tv shows you know in the run up for Christmas lots of seasons series has come out um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic week. I hope you're enjoying the nice kind of cold weather. And until then, guys, I will see you next time. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Well done if you guessed correctly. Comment down below for your three guesses for next week. And I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.